the reason why the prayers of many people are not answered. Their prayers are not answered because in spirit and in truth. A lot of Christians, they read the scriptures and the scriptures speak about how our prayers will be answered. Jesus speaks about that. And then they go around wondering why their prayers are not answered. That is because they have not received the Holy Spirit. They're not praying in spirit and in truth. They just want to grab ideas out of the Bible and then speak them into existence like they are God. They treat the Bible as if it's a fortune book, a fortune telling book. And they can just grab all the fortunes <clears throat> for themselves and their family and just speak it out loud and it will happen. That's like witchcraft. And those Christians shouldn't expect that they should receive anything from the Lord because they're praying from their flesh. But the prayers of the righteous, those that belong to the kingdom of God, that pray in spirit and in truth, that have received the Holy Spirit, their prayers are powerful and effective because God is with them and they are in tune with the Holy Spirit. I want to read to you what it says in James chapter 5 about this. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. We have the power to pray and for God to answer our prayers if the Holy Spirit is in us. But there's no power just in prayer itself. Just by praying and acting like you can get anything from God when you're not in his truth. I want to share with you a dream that I had last night that was really a wonderful testimony to the power of prayer. Because things that we see spiritually also manifest physically. And the Holy Spirit many times uses dreams to show us the powers of our prayer. In my dream, I was in a great valley. And in that valley, there were many men. But those men were demonic men. They were principalities of evil. <clears throat> These men were wearing suits. And they looked like government officials. There was one man who had a lot of power. I believe he was Satan or he was like Satan. He was an, he was an older man. He looked just like a man, but he was old and he was very powerful. And whatever he said happened. Everyone had to obey what he was saying. But when I was in this valley, that man could see me. And when I noticed that he could see me and I could see him, I put out my hand and I started praying. And when I put out one hand and started praying, I could see his face starting to, to wither. And he was very mad, exceedingly upset. And I brought out my other hand and I put up both my hands and I started to pray against him. I started to curse what he was doing. And he shriveled up. The entire man just shriveled up and he had no more power to command anything. Then there was another one of his agents, one of, the, one of those demons, but that looked like a man. And he commanded that these rocks fall off the sides of the valley, off of these cliffs. But I was still in the spirit and still praying. And as these rocks fell that looked volcanic, 
off of the sides of the cliff into the valley, none of those rocks could hit me. It was like I was invincible. Nothing could touch me. I knew the spirit of God was with me. And that is how it is when we pray. Even if we're in the valley of the shadow of death, even if we look into Satan and his demons, they cannot touch us if we're with Jesus. And if we pray and pray against those principalities of evil, the work of Satan will be destroyed. He will have no power. Where there is prayer and men and women of God praying, the devil falls. He has no power, but he shrivels up. And I pray in my location and in my area that the power of God goes out, that people are filled with the Holy Spirit and that the, the entities of, of the demons will not be able to function. When we pray, Satan's kingdom cannot function. But there are areas where people are not praying. And where there are not men of God truly praying, that is where Satan can do his work. That's where he can bring down his, his rocks and bring down his authority. So I encourage you to pray because the prayer of the righteous man and the righteous woman who are praying in spirit and in truth are extremely effective. Be encouraged that your prayers will be heard if you're praying in spirit and in truth. The way we pray in spirit and in truth is by praying in the will of our Father in heaven. We need to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And if we truly are seeking first his will and his righteousness, seeking his glory first, then he will be on our side. He stands for those that stand with him, but he is against those who are prideful and arrogant, who are all about their own business. That's why we need to check our hearts and make sure that we are really on the side of truth, that we're not just about our own business, about ourselves, puffing up our own kingdoms like the men in the world. Are we really with Jesus and are we really praying in spirit and in truth? Because if we are, our prayers will be heard, our prayers will be answered, and our prayers will be powerful. May the grace of Jesus be with you.